Hello, I'd like to comment on a moral panic that has sprung up seemingly in the last few days. Um, I'm not sure what was the impetus for this particular campaign um, of what I'm calling a moral panic, uh, but uh, something must have happened. There must have been something written somewhere. Um, but what I'm speaking of is Leo DiCaprio, the actor who is now in his late 40s. He's about to turn 48. Um, and I believe that what set this off was uh, he broke up with the girlfriend that he'd been seeing for the last couple of years. She turned 25. And he has this uh, pattern of just seeing uh, very young girls, court, you know, courting, if you want to call it that, or dating very young girls. Um, and then once they turn around, once they get to be around 25, um, he breaks up with them. Uh, <clears throat> now, has this been a conscious strategy on Leo DiCaprio's part? Is it just something that happens to happen? Um, it's not clear. Uh, but, but there are people who it just seems very strongly resent uh, this uh, proclivity of DiCaprio and I find it strange that they're so bent out of shape over uh, what this guy does, who he dates you know, what his dating habits are um, you know, it would be one thing if he were truly robbing the cradle, as they say if he were if he were um, doing the Prince Andrew thing, you know, and, and hanging out with 15-year-olds. Uh, I know that there was a joke made by uh, Ricky Gervais at, at DiCaprio's expense at the, the, the People's Choice Awards a couple of years ago, but uh, like even Prince Andrew is saying, come on, man, you gotta got to grow up a little. Um, and, and it seems like DiCaprio took that joke in good humor. Um, but... Uh, I just, I just don't get the, the fury that so many people seem to be feeling about this, and it seems to be mostly women, uh, uh, dare I say, who are um, upset, angry uh, with DiCaprio for what they what they would call, I guess, his lechery. Um, you know, I'm not. I'm not going to defend it. I'm not going to say I think you know good for him or anything like that. Um, but I do think it's his choice. And if it is a strategy that he has adopted, as you know, it's a clear pattern, and, and it's been pointed out in many MGTOW circles that that uh, DiCaprio knows what he's doing, and uh, you know he. Uh, He's, uh, you know, he's he's uh, always in demand. Of course, it's not like he's, uh, 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 you know, it's not like he's uh, obtained this this reputation of being a, a lech or something. Even if he did have that reputation, you know, the fact that he's rich and famous, you know, that covers a multitude of sins. Of course, uh, in many people's minds, I'm not saying it truly does, but I'm saying in the minds of uh, potential uh, new girlfriends. I don't think he's, you know, he has ever struggled finding new girlfriends. Um, and I don't know what real harm he has done except for the fact that, you know, I guess if he is indeed having sex with these girls, um, then that's fornication, which is, which is a sin. But it's a fairly common sin in our in our day and age. Um, it's not as though, uh, again, it's not as though he's using them in a way that, that that's just really despicable, that makes him some kind of cad, uh, that makes him some deeply manipulative, uh, awful guy. I mean, I'm sure the girls that he date that he's been out with. They get a, a lot of, out of it, just like he gets a lot out of it. Um, and so, but but now, and 
and now, I guess, be spurred on by the impetus of him, of his latest breakup, there's suddenly this whole, uh, uh, this whole moral panic, this whole uh, campaign of uh, vitriol uh, against against Leo DiCaprio, and I don't get it. You know, if if you don't like the way that Leo DiCaprio is, da- the, if you don't like how he does things, uh, you know, fine, don't date him. <laughs> you know, um, and you probably won't be in a position to date him anyway. But uh, I'm not saying that in a snide sort of way. I'm just saying, obviously, he's a, you know, a rich and famous and handsome movie star. Uh, so he's he's in the he's well well in the top ten percent. Uh, you know, that can pretty much run the tables. Um, uh, he's in the top echelon of the top 1%. Uh, this will probably last, you know, f- for as long as he's alive, I would imagine. Okay, so if you don't like it, then, then just, like, <laughs> if you don't, if you, if you don't, uh, approve... Uh, just, it's, it's really none of your business, you know, just, just live the, live the life that you want to live, and, uh, let, let, uh, DiCaprio live the life that he wants to live, um, um, you know, is he really hurting these girls? I'm sure that, I'm sure that when they, you know, when he breaks up with them, I'm sure they're sad about that, but, uh, you know, it's not like, it's not like there, there aren't, uh, there isn't someone willing to, to jump on board uh, once once Leo's single again, right? So I mean, I'm you know I, I'm speaking as someone who is a a, uh, a believer in traditional sexual morality. So I'm not uh, I'm not necessarily making excuses for DiCaprio, but I am saying that I think the hate campaign which has started up in the last few days, um, just seems really out of place. And I wonder, I wonder what it's all about. Um, I wonder if it signifies something deeper about this, the current state of sexual relations. Because a lot of women are really upset with DiCaprio. Um, I mean, is it jealousy? It's probably something like that, uh, you know. It, but but maybe it's just it, it, maybe what it what it is is crystallizing this this deep seated uh, unhappiness, which is uh, you know the current sexual mores, the, af- the post sexual revolution uh, culture that we've got. This is this is what these are. This is the kind of situations that it invites the the, uh, the high status men get their pick of the of any woman that any woman that they want, um, and uh, they're the, they're really the only ones who who really uh, you know even though the sexual revolution was supposed to be in part about feminism and and not holding women down anymore, it's not women who benefit from the sexual revolution, and it's not most men who benefit from it either, because after monogamy was obliterated, it hasn't been totally obliterated, I don't mean to overstate it, but after monogamy has been devalued the way that it has, um, after, you know, it is no longer the, uh, the bedrock of our culture the way that it was for years and years and years, for decades for centuries, um, ever since, ever since then, you, you have a, a certain number of men who are just invisible if they aren't in the top whatever percent, 10 percent, 15 percent, what, uh, what have you. And, uh, and as far as women go, you know, they, they find that there's the, you know, they get on so, social media apps and dating apps and they find Men who are, um, you know, really good-looking, uh, who who want to go out with them, but mo- more often than not, 
it's just, uh, you know, uh, to put it crudely, a pump and dump kind of deal. And that doesn't make women happy, but they, they have the, a lot of women, because of the sexual revolution, have this inflated sense of themselves, and they think that they deserve, they think that they're tens, and they deserve to be with tens. Um, but, you know, they're, they're basically going to wind up being uh, in someone's harem. Uh, and uh, I, don't think that, I don't think that makes women happy. So most women, the vast majority of women aren't happy. Most men aren't happy. But the Leo DiCaprios are, uh, seem to be content. Uh, so that's a very interesting situation we find ourselves in right now. Let me know what you think below. Thanks for watching.